now uh, let's see how to use this tool uh, first of all what you need to do is uh, to use this tool you have to create a template folder and copy the template there with the name template.doc or template.docx so the template will contain a variables for example here city1 as the variable city2 as the variable zip as the variable f name as the variable test as the variable here <coughs> and again when you come to the tool uh, the same variable should be the column names now here it's a f name city1 so here city1 whatever uh, is in the column city1 will be placed here will be replaced here with the values similarly for the zip it will going to replace the value from the zip column into this particular uh, place so that's how uh, it generates the letters for every row there will be one letter generated replacing all the variables in the template uh, with the values in the excel and it will save the file as whichever the column we selected here f name S sl number f name l name uh, these are the columns it will be uh, saved in this example i used f first name and last name f name and l name so you can see f name and l names are file is saved with the f name and l names so this is the one file so <coughs> tool automatically generates numbers number one two three so that it it's easy to identify which file belongs to which row in the excel file so this is how if you want a date format somewhere in the date to be uh, file should be stored as the date you can use one of the column and um, say uh, date the function which returns the date but while naming convention uh, we, sh we should take one uh, care of one thing here while selecting the file names there are certain illegal names that are not accepted as a file names for example if I use angle bracket this is not allowed as the file name so we should take care of uh, that uh, these these particular special characters which are not uh, legal naming uh, part of the legal names should not be present in the selected columns so that is the one thing to be taken care of and uh, the maximum uh, number of columns that you can have is 250 columns you can go up to 250 columns but make sure that when you are adding new columns here new columns means the variables in the template doc if you are adding a new variable here somewhere if you are adding a new variable <coughs> add a test 2 here in the template and uh, when I go to the Excel and then say test 2 I normally use the angle brackets two angle brackets for open and two angle brackets for closing because uh, the, it, it will be a unique value within the template it sh there should not be any two different values if there are two different values it will tool will automatically replace these values variables with the values so to avoid any um, replacing within the uh, text body text of uh, document so i use the typical name normally we don't find this in any of our paragraphs so this one so you will going to add a column here so so that and you will enter values here those values will come and sit in this place so in the time of adding the columns make sure that you will not leave any blank columns there So in this case I left a blank column the tool will read up to the last found value so if it reads uh, the blank value it will terminate further reading any further columns so uh, that is the one thing to be taken care of while using this tool and uh, uh, yeah uh, that is the one thing I need to tell and if you have any questions you can reach out to me at info at erudite ITS dot com erudite hyphen its dot com regarding this tool i thank you very much for watching this video if you have any queries please feel free to contact me